Hardly a man is now alive who saw the dreadful deed, oh. But back in 1835, in history you may read, oh. Oh, I don't part with Michigan, they fought as hard as two states can to prove which was a better man, and prove just how their border ran, and where the rights of each began, and which would have for me, oh. The CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination, the theater of the mind. Tonight, The Toledo War, a new opera performed for the first time, with words by Edward Eager and music composed and conducted by David Brookman. It was in 1835, when Michigan was still a territory, that the young governor, Stevens Thompson Mason, claimed that a strip of land, including the town of Toledo, rightfully belonged to Michigan. But some people in Ohio thought differently, and so it was war, the first war between the states. Exactly what happened isn't too clear, but it might have been something like this. Just tell us all men strike for we're here to show you you, and you will have to take our word that all we say is true. Hard by Lake Erie's fearful foam, the shot began to fire. We take you to the happy home of Federal Judge Phineas Fustian and his wife, Hermelia Fustian, and his daughter, Annabelle Fustian of Toledo, Ohio. Stirring news of war assailed our ear. According to the latest thing we hear, men of Michigan have made complaints. Our town is in the state. We say it ends. So now with savage skill and they must rise. They're planning to invade us from Detroit. To stink me, are you ready to go forth and join us from these vandals of the north and battle to the joy of all bystanders to keep our city safe from Michiganders? Then hold me, play my daughter as your bride. Have you your forces ready? Well, I've tried. My brothers were the only ones who came. But we will guard you safely all the same. They're waiting just outside the door. My brother one, my brother three, my brother four. Good evening, one. I'm three. Oh, I see. My father was a military man, and he named us by a military plan. And he formed us in a group, and he trained us in a troop to be as military as we can. We're the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sing, 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 should any sneak and spike of me to peek and fly, we'll hit him in the eye and sit around and watch him die, just to show Ohio that Ohio can rely. On the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Cousin, that you missed, too strong, 
is cold outside. Then I think we'll not depart. I'll try to when I'm a bride. And how to now I'd never spy. But when it is so cold outside, but when it is so cold outside, but when it is so cold outside, I think it's just divine. Good evening. A stranger. Do we know you, sir? Alas, no. But... Hush, not a word. Forgive me. I lost my way. And having my mandolin with me, improvised a serenade to warm my fingers. Fair warm or not. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. And now that I meet with such charm and beauty, too, I can only repeat. Every word I sang was true. Well, really. Hush, be careful. Sir, I'm a married lady. I am an engaged young lady. Yes, yes. If you are recognized, you will be killed and will be compromised. Where can I hide? Under there. Where? There, get in front. Quick, move the chair. I see the chair. There. A man from Michigan, but then he ran. You see a man as quiet as a mouse. We saw him creeping. We'd better search the house. No, no, my uncle's sleeping. Oh, did you know he was from Michigan? Did he wear a uniform? No, no, that's so. He didn't wear a uniform. It won't be just like them dirty Michiganders not to wear a uniform. It would as good them dirty blues their business suits. Oh, dear truth, how can you think that I would hide a spy? No, no. no. It is safe now. You may emerge. How can I thank you? It was nothing. And now you must be weary from your exertion. Girls, some refreshment for the gentlemen. The cold roast lamb of slice of ham. The cider cool and gooseberry full and cream. Wait! When the stage you love is at war and the stranger comes to your door, how can you feed him your gooseberry bowl and cream? Suppose he is a spy, come here to lurk and scheme. Hush, what are you saying? Well, suppose he is a spy, what then? War is the concern of men. And where the stranger has such manly grace, such a lofty mind, such a noble face. Supposing it were so, I'd rather never know and think I. 
your behavior, hypocritical, in the extreme. What is that voice of thunder? My husband, my father. Should I surrender? No, get back under. What does this mean? The hour is late. You know the house is aglow. We weren't sleeping. We weren't sleeping. Gooseberry fool on the parlor table. Suppose the neighbors should know. We were hungry. We were hungry. You must curb this tendency to madcap frolic. Open, I told you so. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Law and order. Status quo. Put out the light. I'll bring the light. Come out now. It's all right. I'd like to stay and talk. If things could be every night. But since they aren't quite, I'd better say good night. Good night. Good appetite. I'll bring the light. Well, really, such hypocrisy. They pretend to be for Ohio. Then all for the sake of a handsome face, they entertain a spy. What about you, my dear? I'm not your dear. I look on you with loathing, you sneaking Wolverine in buck-eye clothing. I knew you were a spy, but I thought you'd spy with candle, not so cool I and flirt and philander. But a spy must lie. I don't see why. <laughs> Nathan Hale and I could tell you that the spy must learn to lie and lie if he be a good spy. Well, of course, that's different. If it's true what you say, I'm learning something new every day. My uncle convinced me to fight for my state, but now my state is Michigan, the state of my mate. So now I'm a spy, and I think if I try, I can learn to lie and lie and be a good spy. But how did you come here? And what is the occasion? I came from Detroit with a party of invasion. Beat man to make for the court of Fido, to draw up a deed or to claim Toledo. But the night it was dark and the way it was tricky. I got lost in the swamp and the swamp it was sticky. And I couldn't find the courthouse for my knowledge it was scanty. So I finally came to this house of your auntie. But this is the courthouse. My uncle holds court session right here in the parlor every Friday. Then I point up the law as one for I am in possession without having hardly tried it. There's paper in the desk And the quills and ink So we do the green We should have the green As the week Now to draw up the deeds and writs Order in the court The court sits <laughs> It 
sun, the 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 Delicious sweet heart, darling, you eat hard. Thank you, my dear. I see him. He's in there. Up with your hands and stand where you are. Arms of leather and feathers and tar, ride him on a rail to the jailhouse land him. I must spy. So am I. But my ethics don't forbid it. For his ideas are high. It is for my state I did it. Me, oh my, me, oh my, why does that be so alarming? He's a spy, he's a spy. Charming. What's a miss? What's a lie? What's the noise and what's the riot? He's a spy, he's a spy. Take him on and hang him high. Will you shoot him or shall I? He's a spy, he's a spy, he's a spy. You have no right to tease me. For from this date, Toledo is no longer even in your state. Read this paper. Heaven forbid. Miss, you sign this. Yes, I did. You are guilty of fraud, impersonating an officer and contempt. Not at all, I am exempt. You told me state rights are the highest right. The same. And that's when I decided to join the fight. The same. I am a citizen of the state of Michigan. I am secretly married to this gentleman. Isabel, I am paid. But you don't know him. Oh, how this be? I do. We met in a secret at a Sunday school picnic in morning. Now Tony Ford and Sue went this part of the But though we deplore him, we still can't ignore him. For two may be company, but it isn't a quorum. It isn't a quorum, it isn't a quorum. It isn't a quorum. We're still in Ohio, it's all hunting Jordan. I say no fun for them, we didn't have a quorum. So little in Michigan. So little in Ohio, so little in Ohio. Make your wish and wish again, you'd never be in a spiral. We'll hang you a pile and leave you to dry off. How far are you dial? Come bring let us fly off. Oh, the pile, oh, the pile, oh, the pile, the pile, oh, 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 the pile, at such an hour, the north the ducks when ten is striking on the blocks. Who knocks? Who knocks? Unlock the locks. 
Special message from President Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson? In the interest of national unity, the President decrees that this community, up to now in a state of ambiguity, shall be in Ohio for perpetuity. Now you know. Sadly, I bow to the president's order. I linger no longer half of the border. Come home with me, Isabel, and find safe harbor, and live happy ever after in an arbor. No, no, I object. Objection overruled. Don't we get this suit? Nobody! The battle had a happy end, the same night it began. And each man was each other's friend, by President Jackson's plan. Oh, let's be glad it turned out right as battle seldom can. And let's be happy that tonight, for years and years have passed in flight. So Leo still is shining bright. Wheels are turning left and right. And champions spark, love and will is night. And battles bring an awful Tonight, the CBS Radio Workshop has presented The Toledo War, a parlor piece for music, with words by Edward Eager and music composed and conducted by David Brookman. The cast included Arthur Newman as Judge Phineas Fustian, Gene Hanslick as his wife, Lois Winter as Annabelle, Shirley Emmons as Isabel, Peyton Higginson as the hero, and Mike Pollock as Stinkney, too. Others included John Wilson, Jack Brown, and Bill Marine. The CBS Radio Workshop is produced in New York by Paul Roberts. This is Bob Height inviting you to join us again next week when we present When He Shall Appear. This is the CBS Radio Workshop.